Give the Lord praises right now. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. I can't thank you enough, Jesus. Your Lord, my Lord. We bless you, Lord, right now. In the name of Jesus. Father God, I come lifting you up in prayer, Lord. Lord, I just want to bless your name, Lord God. Father God, if there's any covenant, Lord God, that I have made with the enemy, Normally or unknowingly, I break that covenant, Father, because my covenant is with you, Lord God. Lord God, if there's any demonic portals that I may have opened up, normally or unknowingly, I close them shut and I seal it closed with the blood of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, your yeah, Lord, my Lord. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. We thank you. In Jesus' name, I pray, Father, have your way, Lord. Speak, Lord. We need you to speak, Jesus. Speak, Lord. Yeah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The Lord gave me a word. And his word, the Holy Spirit just been singing all in my spirit. I mean, I just been all in it, just all in the spirit, y'all. Just, I mean, he just been singing all in my head. And everything he say, I repeat it. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. I feel the Lord is doing something new in our life. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit is moving. Thank you, Father. But the Lord gave me a word. And this word was, um, this word was based on warning. Do not eat that food. Warning. Don't eat that food. The Lord is speaking to somebody. And I'm going to tell you what he showed me. I'm going to take you to this scripture that he gave me. This scripture is coming from Proverbs 23, 6-7. I'll put this in the description box, okay? Eat thou not the bread of him that hath an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. For as he thinketh in his heart, so is he. Eat and drink, says he to thee, but in his heart is not with thee. Mm, you eating with the enemy. Mm, don't eat that food of those that have an evil eye, wickedness in their heart. Don't eat that food. The Lord is getting ready to speak to somebody right now in the mighty name of Jesus. Okay, and I'm going to show you what the Lord showed me in my dream. And this is how the, the enemy will get me every time because he know I love to eat. Now I fast, but when I come off that fast, boy, look at here, I'll be making it up. And that's where I'll be failing at. Okay, and a lot of you guys know what I'm talking about. When you come off that fast, some of you just go crazy. Okay, I just go crazy. I'm one of them. I just go crazy. And the Holy Spirit, Spirit been just convicting me with that. You know, with what I do after I come off of my fast. You know, we need to eat in moderation. We need to do everything in moderation. Okay. And um, what the Lord showed me, I was in this dream and what it looked like to be my family, like a family gathering, I saw. 
and uh, all this food was just laid out on the table. And once again, I see what looked like to be uh, my deceased grandmother, which is a familiar spirit. I call them demons. Okay. It wasn't my grandmother, but I didn't re realize that in a dream. And she used to like to cook and bake. Okay. So on this table was all this food and all these family members. And I remember walking to the table and I saw um, a bread pudding that she used to bake all the time. Okay. It was one of the things she used to bake amongst others. others okay. So I was like, is that bread pudding good? And everybody just turned around and looked at me and they was like doing their shoulder like that. Nobody would open up their mouth. So I walked over to the table to get me a piece of this bread pudding. And let me tell y'all what happened. When I turned around, the, the suspicious thing in that dream, okay? When I went to bite that bread pudding and eat that bread pudding, everybody just froze and turned around waiting on me to eat that bread pudding. Okay, I want y'all to hear me. Everybody was waiting on me to eat this bread pudding. Everybody stopped stop and cease what they were doing and they was waiting on me to eat this bread put somebody gonna catch this in the spirit somebody know what i'm talking about okay you know and i wanted to share this dream because i've been getting a lot of emails on eating food in a dream and all kind of stuff eating things in the dream okay so as i begin to eat this bread put and as soon, as soon as i put it on my tongue okay and i could taste before i could even swallow as soon as it, it hit my tongue i could taste poison and I spit it out. It just went flying everywhere. Okay, it went flying everywhere. And I woke up after dream. And I mean, I went, I went into prayer. I just dropped on my knees, y'all. And I went into prayer. And I lost track of time. Okay, I was in prayer for hours. Biting and rebuking and renouncing, denouncing, casting down. I was, I mean, uprooting seeds. I mean, I was just, I was going to town with that. Okay, and I'm putting this because, I, like I said, I've been getting a lot of emails. When you find yourself, because sometimes we're not aware of what we are, we're doing in our dreams. Some of us are not at that level where we are aware. Some people are at that level where, where they are aware of what they're doing in their dreams. Okay, and they're able to control it. Get that control. Mm. They're able to have that control and realize that don't eat. They realize that's the enemy and they go to casting down. You know, they know that. That only happened to me a few times. Okay. The majority of the times it's like I'm not aware in my dreams and what you do when you come up out these dreams you pray against that you bind and you rebuke it okay because somebody you ate something in your dream and you say something went went wrong i think it was with your mind but something it was there was a, a spiritual attack there and i know it. there was a spiritual attack okay you renounce that you denounce that in the mighty name of jesus by the blood of jesus you uproot in the mighty name of jesus and you 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 send it backwards straight back into the pizza hill call on the consuming fire of god to destroy it by fire mm, lord let it die by fire in the mighty name of jesus and never return okay you cast that down because remember you got the, the the power and the dominion to be able to cast down thank you jesus hallelujah walk in it in jesus mighty name walk in it OK, I just wanted to share that dream. OK, because a lot of times we see family members what look like to be our family members in dreams. They are not our family members. OK, the, 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 the familiar spirits come. OK, which are demons to deceive us. OK, well, what look like people we know and some of people we don't know. OK, if you eat this food, I'm telling you, you renounce that as soon as you get up. OK, because I could see and I could feel in my spirit because I, the harder I go, the more the enemy come for me in my dreams. And I know that. And it made me even go harder in the mighty name of Jesus, by the blood of Jesus. Some of us need to be going on dry fast. OK, you need to do a, a, a three day dry fast. Consult your doctor if you sick. OK, I'm not telling you I'm, I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physician. Consult your doctor. OK, I know what I do. I know what I need to do. OK, the Lord is speaking right now. OK, because the Bible says some demons only come out by fasting and praying. OK, by fasting and praying. And I want to share one more other thing with you guys that happened to me. This was another dream. OK, and this dream happened to me yesterday. I had this dream yesterday morning. And when I had this dream, I, I saw the, the first one. I saw myself like I was working at this place it like a fancy um, restaurant or something and they they paid me they was one of them places they they pay you and then they cashed a check for you so when they cashed a check and, and she put the money in the envelope and sealed it up so when I got to where I was going I was like wait a minute this ain't right they owe me more they shorted me two thousand dollars I want y'all to hear me two thousand dollars okay they shorted me of my money and I went back I went back 
to the counter and I was telling the lady, you sure up, you owe me two, you owe me $2,000. And she was just finding all these excuses, what she needed to do to pay me, but they didn't give me back my money. I woke up arguing about that money. Oh, when I woke up arguing about that money, let me tell you something. I went into prayer. Oh, I was just fussing. Oh Lord, I want to go back. And I heard the Holy Spirit say, don't go back where I brought you from. The Lord's speaking to somebody. Don't go back. Because I had them, you know, went into prayer and renounced and denounced and uprooted and destroyed it, destroyed it. And I heard the Holy Spirit speak to me. He said, don't go back with what, what I brought you out of. Oh, and I insisted. I wanted to go back because mm, I seen um, one of the ministers, okay, <laughs> that that I pray with in the morning. OK, and they've been doing this for a long time. They've been doing this for a long time. Let me tell you. And he was able to go back in his dream and and, and get what was his. And I insisted. I told the Lord, I want to go back. I want my money back. They stole from me and I want it back. I want it back in the name of Jesus. You know, this is what I'm telling the Lord. The Lord let me go back in that dream. I go back in that dream. Let me tell y'all what happened to me. I go back in that dream in the same dream confronted the same manager. Wasn't even aware of nothing, but self, my money was still gone. I knew they had and took my money. But why I'm sitting up there chilling with this demon, okay, with this spirit, okay, that, that was in a, a familiar spirit. I'm sitting up there in a recliner now, okay, in some recliner, she in a recliner. We just chilling, talking about the money that she took from me, okay, like we buddies. Didn't get nothing back. Okay, yeah, I felt so stupid when I woke up. I said, I don't believe this, Lord. You told me not to go back. Okay, trying to do, <laughs> I guess the Lord said, you ain't on that level. Don't go back. I'm telling you not to go back. Don't go back. Don't go back. I'm speaking to somebody. That is not for everybody. The Lord will let us know we get to that level. Thank you, Jesus. To God be the glory. I just wanted to share, share that with you guys. I tell you, we got to learn how to be obedient to the Holy Spirit. For the Bible say obedience is better than sacrifice. And I just want to let you guys know that I love you. I love you. And that I'm praying for you guys. To God be the glory and all the honor. And I just send out blessings. Bye.